Welcome to The Recon Trader. In today's video, I will share with you why I think it's imperative that you deploy a virtual private network or a VPN to maximize your security and privacy when trading cryptocurrencies online. Let's face it, cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin are setting all-time new highs. And as they do set those new all-time highs, they're gaining more attention from hackers and corrupt governments who want to get their hands on your cryptocurrency. And with that being said, it's time for you to add some armor in the form of a VPN or a virtual private network. And so a VPN is the most effective and easiest way for you to protect your internet traffic and keep your identity private online. And so the way a VPN works is when you connect to a secure VPN server, your internet traffic goes through an encrypted tunnel that nobody else can see into, including hackers, government agencies, or service providers. And as you can see in the example down below, say you're on your computer and you wanna send Bitcoin over the internet to, let's say your favorite exchange. Well, by using a virtual private network or VPN, that Bitcoin transaction would go through this encrypted tunnel, preventing hackers or the government to see where or who sent that transaction. So now with that all being said, I hope you have a better idea of what a virtual private network is. Now I'll give you some tips when you're out there doing your recon, trying to figure out what service provider to actually invest in. And first off, let me make it clear. Do not use a free VPN service. You know that old saying, you get what you pay for. Well, if you pay $0 to the VPN service provider, you can expect zero security, privacy, probably zero support as well. So avoid free. I invested $100 with the service provider I use for one year's worth of service. And I will put a link to those folks down below so you can do your recon on them. Now, moving on to number two, don't use a US-based VPN service provider. The Patriot Act basically means that any VPN in the United States has little recourse when, not if, but when, Uncle Sam shows up demanding access to servers, user accounts, or any other data for that matter. And not just US-based, you also wanna make sure wherever the VPN service provider is located, their jurisdiction does not cooperate with the United States as far as information requests. And then number three kind of ties in with number two, you wanna look for a no log VPN service provider. And that basically means they keep very few logs as possible and they make that information as anonymous as possible. The service provider I use, which is ExpressVPN, they've actually had a server seized by the authorities and it proved their no log policy was in effect so another reason that when i did my recon i chose to go with expressvpn and lastly you know what i'm going to say do your own recon but to help you out we'll take a look at expressvpn which is the service provider that i use and with expressvpn you can stay secure and anonymous online and also enjoy unrestricted access worldwide and their website has a ton of information on it, so you can do all the recon your heart desires on these folks. I did a quite extensive search, and they came in in the top five, and by the time I was done, they were by far number one in my book. They had great speeds. The investment was minimal, in my opinion, for a weapon I'll use every single day. And speaking of pricing, you can choose what plan you wanna invest in. You can go month to month, all their plans include a 100% money back guarantee for the first 30 days of service. I went with the 12 month plan for $99.95, basically $100. Again, a very small investment for a weapon I use every day, not just for trading, but anytime I'm surfing the interwebs. And something else that got my attention is that I was able to pay with Bitcoin. As you can see from my dashboard on my account, I'm not just shilling for this company, ExpressVPN. I did actually invest in the 12-month plan for that roughly $100, and I did pay. You can see my payment method was Bitcoin through BitPay. So you might ask, well, what difference does it matter how I pay? Well, one, again, we're going for privacy while being anonymous and secure. Uh, in my opinion, Bitcoin is far more secure and anonymous than a credit card. 
So there's that factor. Also, the fact this company accepts Bitcoin tells me that they have some kind of understanding of Bitcoin and what it's all about. So I rather have a company that understands Bitcoin. I don't care on what level. I am more likely to support a company that accepts Bitcoin as a form of payment than someone who doesn't. And so with that all being said, again, you need to do your own recon. But after I did mine, ExpressVPN is who I chose. Now, let's get to setting up this particular workstation that I'm on right now on its own VPN. I do have the ability to connect up to five devices at once. I already have a couple set up like my phone, uh, workstation at home. And so you can actually set up your router with a VPN as well. Uh, but in this case, I'm just going to do this particular workstation that I'm currently working on and it's a Windows based workstation. So I just click on Windows and it'll take me to the download screen. And you can see the activation code. It's actually preloaded, but I've blurred it out. It will be preloaded once you sign up and log into your dashboard, but I've blurred them out for obvious reasons. And now I just click on download. Got to save the file. And then from my download tab, I just need to open the file that the app was downloaded in. And now it's installing. And now the software is downloaded on my computer. I need to sign in. And now I do actually have to paste in that activation code. So I'll need to jump back to my dashboard and grab and copy it. And then I'll paste it and then click continue. And then I do want it to launch on startup automatically launch. So I click OK. And to me, it's important to support the service provider. So I will send them any issues that the software might end up having that's that's completely up to you and now I need to choose a location now it chose one for me by default but that's not the location I want to go with so now I need to search from a list of locations and you might again want to do your recon certain servers with different VPNs have faster speeds Singapore in this case for this service provider is actually fast and I also know that Singapore is typically granted access to all sites that I would ever go to. So I choose Singapore as my main site. And then what I've done to make sure that it stays as my main site, there's a little star here. You might not be able to see it's real faint, but I click it and now it's marked as my favorite. And that's pretty much it. Now I can just click the connect button and it's connecting to the VPN in Singapore and the first time you do it it might take a minute but I found after that first connection the future connections are pretty quick so now I'm connected and so now anywhere I go on the interwebs they'll recognize me as being from Singapore and so that's pretty much it I just wanted to address the issues I've had some comments of people asking do I use a VPN and the answer is yes and ExpressVPN is the service provider I use. Again, a link down in the description below. And if you want to see future videos in regards to crypto trading, be sure to shoot that subscribe button. Also, leave any questions or comments down below. I'd be interested to hear if any of you use VPN service providers who you chose. And if you like this video, do me a favor and spike that like button. And remember, never send your money into battle without first doing your recon. See you in the next video.